So a voice to parliament is a very simple concept. It is about having a representative body of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples sitting outside the parliament, providing advice to parliaments and governments on issues that are, have a particular impact on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. It's a reasonably fair request. I'm making a law about you. What do you think of that law? So it's about being heard. And we know that every year. We see through the Closing the Gap reports, we hear the statistics year after year after year. And many Australians are actually frustrated that we're not seeing the changes that we want to see in our communities. Many Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are very frustrated that we're not seeing those changes in our communities. That's why a voice to parliament is so important. It's really important to be heard and to be heard by the people that are making decisions about our lives. It's a gift as an expression of hope, not only in Australian people, but in our democratic institutions of governance, of politics, that we can do better, things should be better. These institutions should serve us as the Australian people, not just as First Nations. In 1967, the Australian government had the most successful referendum, which enabled the Commonwealth government to make laws about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Now we ask that we are given a voice when those laws are made, that we are able to provide advice, not a veto, not a decision-making power, just advice to the Australian government when those laws are made about us. It's about bringing the expertise of our people who know how things work on the ground. They know their own families, they know their own communities better than me, better than politicians and bureaucrats sitting in Canberra, Sydney and Brisbane. They know what works and doesn't work. It allows Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to have a voice when laws are made about them in the Australian Federal Parliament. It allows Aboriginal people to give advice to Parliament about those laws. The rationale being that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people know their needs specifically and their experiences to comment on those laws. In 1967, we were counted for the first time in our constitution. Now we want to be heard. So it's about bringing the expertise of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to the table so parliaments and governments can make better laws and policies, get better outcomes on the ground. And actually, we're also going to get better value for taxpayer spend. And I know that's something that a lot of people are really looking forward to. We've been grappling with the issues facing Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples since the time of colonisation, over 200 years. So to think that we'll be able to solve them in one term of parliament um, is a little unrealistic. So that's why we need a longer term solution. We need to think about this over years, over parliamentary cycles. It needs to go beyond just an individual government. This is really important for our people. We want a practical change. We want a fair go. We just want to be able to provide advice from ourselves to those policies and those um, legislation that affect us. It's as simple as that. So that's critical to me, that Aboriginal people have decided what they would like and that our fellow Australians support us in that. It's important to understand that a lot of work has gone on over many years to ensure that we get this change right that this is a change that has a real impact on the lives of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, while also ensuring that the existing structures, the existing parliament continues to operate as normal. It's about all of us, how we actually work together. It's beyond just a government of the day. It's about the parliament, it's about the Australian people, and it's how do we think about this collectively to problem solve together.